15 or so miles northwest of world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the Miami Dolphins. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. To throw, it's Lance. And his first pass is incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the gun, it's Lance. This one complete to Scott Miller. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Here's Lance to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down, and third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. Let's get and a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. They have confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be, but early in this one, advantage defense. Still nine remaining on second down. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mack. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll run it out of the gun with Mack. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. 
He was solid last week over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Watson now to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Deshaun Watson with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. Now the extra point. And this is good to make it 7 0 Indy. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. down Miami as they get set to start the drive and following the interception we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now he always used to tell us before every game the team making the fewest mistakes will win what they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches that's all they talk about turnovers right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. 48, 48 from Mike. Coming. Coming. Lance, a handoff here to Mostert. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. 36, 36. Throwing on first down is Lance. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. On second down, Mostert. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Throwing now is Lance. Got his man, it's Eifert. Shedding the tackler that gives him some room. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Here's Mostert, toss left side. First down and a little extra for Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Dolphins' touchdown. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He can see the play developing right in front of him. And once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, he's just going to keep right on going. They'll try and throw for it. And he'll get in. And they take an 8-7 lead. And they got down 
seven zip. They said, we'll go for two, one up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Now it's Watson. Dumps this one off to Mack. Mack's got the first down and then so. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. It's another first down on a big gainer there, 33 yards. First down. A tight one, 8-7 our score after one on EA Sports. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. A give running right is Mack. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Out of the gun, Watson. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. That's to his running back, complete. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Watson now going to run the option right. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It was Jadavian Clowney who got upfield for the stop. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. From the gun, here's Watson. Flushed out right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. O.J. Howard, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Colts are going to jump back in front. I know a lot of coaches like to break their season into quarters. And how about the first four games for this guy? Three touchdowns scored, really making his mark in the red zone here in the first month of the season. Looking to maybe throw for it here, Watson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Colts 
kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tab and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, to me, that's taking a big gamble defensively because that alignment, you see, that's normally something you see down near the goal line because now if they decide to go play action, something should be open there, and I think open big. So maybe that's something that gets filed away for later. I think without a doubt, you write it down, and if you see that look at a later date, go ahead and take your shot. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. First and ten, here's Lance. Eluding the pressure right. This will be caught. Judy. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Shotgun now for Lance. He'll swing this out to Mostert. That catch good for only a couple. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now Lance again. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Five yards. Now it's third and five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Here's Watson. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And they finally get him down at the other 46. On third down, it's very simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned it into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. Reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. Behind the sticks here with a second and 15. 
Here's Watson. Throw right side caught by O.J. Howard. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 36. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw is Watson. Flush to his right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Only needing two yards on second down. On a jet sweep, here comes Waddle. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Back to throw, Watson. That'll be caught. It's the tight end, Howard. Touchdown, Colts. O.J. Howard with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Colts are able to go. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. Still going. And he finally runs out of gas, but not before he's inside the 10-yard line. Similar to golf, you never want to count a score before it actually happens, but you have to figure. They thought they were going to get six on that play. Great effort to keep them out of the end zone, but a big-time return. There's Fuller for a Dolphin touchdown. Will Fuller, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. 
They'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. That's caught at the one. And he's not going to get in as a try for two comes up empty. So they will be unable to cut this to a field goal as the differential remains five. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. He dumps this off to Mack. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Second and six. Watson. Flushed out right. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Throwing on third down, Watson eluding the pressure right. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Mac. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. The final shot before the break. Watson escaping the pressure right. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that is incomplete. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, it didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. On second and 12, Watson. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Lance going to throw. Flush to his right. Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Lance looking to throw it. He'll find Miller. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Just 
And he'll go for it. Lance. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. That time, he was looking for Jerry Judy. And now it's second down. Again, they'll throw it with Lance. His throw incomplete. Robert Tunyon, the intended target, but now it'll be third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Lance to throw it. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. The kick by Crosby is good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. Tough day. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. Now it's Watson. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Jadevian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Watson being chased out left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for him, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They'll start on the ground with Moster. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second and a yard, Lance. 
And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Closed quickly. And he'll force the incompletion. They tried the throw on second down. Unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And Lance now to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. And they'll run the option to start the drive. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. He filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Now here's a throw that's complete. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape for the first and goal. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Watson now to throw. And he's got his target. It's caught for the Colts touchdown. Jalen Waddle, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Colts use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Here we go now as they will again try for two. Looking to maybe throw for it here, Watson. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. So they try to make it a two-score game with a conversion. It pays off. And they've looked at the situation, figured it out well. A two-score game in this situation, they've got to feel much better about where they are. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Here's Lance. Getting this out to the flat. Mostert. Not much there. Only a yard. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Looking to throw again on second down. Lance, complete to the right side. It's over. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 19 yards there on the catch and run. On first and 10, here's Lance. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the rookie from Virginia Tech, Caleb Farley. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. 
Well, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the years. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. Oh, he's got a little daylight. 20. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Marlon Mack with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Colts are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together Charles a nice. And now here is another interception. Xavier Woods with a pick. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. On first down, Mack. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? On second and nine, Watson eluding the pressure right. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Howard. Touchdown! Deshaun Watson, four touchdown passes now in the ball game. And the Colts use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. The extra point up and good. And the lead is now 24. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw, it's Lance. And his throw here is incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. And my goodness, another interception. Jonathan Abram picks it. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said, third and long, got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. 
defensive backs live for this situation. And they took advantage of the young man right there. The Touchdown, the the Indianapolis. The it's another touchdown pass for Deshaun Watson, his fifth of the afternoon. And thanks to the interception, the Colts offense cashes in with six. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will extend this big lead. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. First down. Shotgun now for Lance. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Working from the gun, Lance. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. 